Earlier this year, I made a video on the brand new Myrtle Beach community, Crescent Cove. That has been a super popular video because it is a great community in a great location and the amenities that are coming are very appealing. Crescent Cove is less than two miles to downtown Market Common, another two miles past that and you're at the beach and it's going to have access to the intracoastal waterway. And if all that wasn't enough, you can get into this community for the low to mid $400 thousand dollar price point and that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. Hey, welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Nick. And on this channel, I talk about things to do here in Myrtle Beach. I give tips and advice about the area and I'm a real estate agent. So of course I talk about the real estate. So if you are thinking about relocating to the area, then make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the little notification bell while you're at it. This way you could be the first to know about what's going on here in Myrtle Beach. I get calls every single day from people just like you who are moving to the area. So if you ever have any questions or if I can help you find home here at the beach, then I would love to chat with you. You can always use the first link down in the description to schedule a call with me. Okay. So in Crescent Cove, they offer three levels or series of homes, the Cambridge series, the Prescott series, and the Sutton Place series. The Cambridge series is going to offer both one and two level homes that are both spacious and open. The customization options within this series are gonna be limited to specific packages, which helps with not only affordability, but also with keeping the design process simple. Other than the options for tile, counter, cabinet, and flooring color packages, the design choices that you're gonna have for this home are gonna be very minimal. The Prescott series features single level homes with the option to add on a loft, bedroom, and bathroom upstairs. These are mid-sized homes that allow for certain structural changes such as gourmet kitchens, garage extensions, bathroom reconfigurations, and more. In addition to those structural options, you'll have countless design options that allow you to customize the home to your exact liking. These homes do start out affordable, but depending on the choices you make, the cost can certainly start to add up. The Sun Place series features the largest homes in this community with both one and two level options. The price of these homes start in the mid to high $400,000 price point, depending on the floor plan and can easily get up into the $600,000 to $700,000 range once you add on a lot cost, structural changes, and design options. Much like the Prescott Scott series, these homes offer many customization options, which is great unless you're somebody who can be easily overwhelmed by those options. If that is you, then you'll be happy to know that we're going to be starting off today with a tour of a Cambridge series home called the Hartwell. I think this is a great floor plan that offers plenty of space across two levels and enough choices to make the home your own without absolutely blowing the budget or becoming overwhelming. So go ahead and hit that like button below. Let's go ahead and tour this home and talk about some of those available options. Okay, so here we are outside of this Hartwell home. One of the first options that you're going to have is to choose the elevation of your home, which is just the front look of your home. It's not going to change the inside at all. Now, this home is showing as a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom home with an office, which is the first room here on the right. And as you can see on the wall there, you do have those color packages to choose from that I mentioned earlier in the video. Standard in this Cambridge series, you are going to have brown cabinets. I think everything else looks nice nice in that color package, but I know a lot of people are going to want to upgrade so they can get the painted either white or gray cabinets. And to do so, your first options are going to cost about twenty dollars to $25,000. To go up to the Lux package, in my opinion, I don't think it's worth it because those are going to cost about forty dollars to $45,000, and the changes aren't that significant, again, in my opinion. Now, what's shown here is one of those mid-level packages. You do get the soft closed doors and drawers. Unfortunately, no gourmet kitchens in this Cambridge series, but I still think it looks really nice. 
Again, this floor plan is nice and open and spacious. You do have the primary bedroom here on the first floor in this floor plan. And another addition you can do is to have your hard surface floors, the LVP, come into the primary bedroom. So that's another change you'll be able to make from the carpet. There's not a lot of changes you can do here in the bathroom. Again, it's just gonna be those counter and cabinet changes depending on the package you pick, but you still do get an all tile shower floor to ceiling, but it is going to be a fiberglass pan on the floor. You have a nice big linen closet in here and a nice spacious walk-in closet in this Hartwell floor plan as well. Now from here, we're gonna go check out the outdoor area, which is where you can make another change. Normally you get an uncovered patio, but you can have the option to add a covering over it, which also gives you an additional slab as well for barbecuing or being able to get out into the sun. Now that additional slab is not going to be paver stones like it's shown here. That's just a design element they did for the model home. It's just gonna be a normal concrete pad like you see on the driveway or under the regular covered area. Now, another option that you can change is going to be with the stairs here. So normally, instead of the wood spindle railing, you are going to have a half wall that's just drywall, and the stairs are going to be carpeted. So those are two additional changes that you can make, and they are separate from each other. Now upstairs here you do have three bedrooms and two full bathrooms as well as a little loft area. And while we're popping in and out of the bedrooms and bathrooms, I want to talk about the last change that you can make in this Hartwell home. So normally the last bedroom that we're going to get into, which has its own ensuite bathroom, typically that is part of the loft area. So it's normally a much bigger loft area upstairs but you do have the option to add that fourth bedroom with the third full bathroom if that is something that you need. Now up here you can see these bedrooms are nice and spacious. There's plenty of room in here. The closets are a good size as well. And something that Pulte has started doing is they started putting their HVAC systems up here in conditioned space versus being in the attic. And here's that fourth bedroom and ensuite that's been added on, which is normally just part of the loft area. Now you can do a lot of the changes that we discussed today and still hit that mid $400,000 price point depending on the lot you choose for a very spacious home around 2,400 square feet, which in my opinion, isn't too bad at all. All right, let me know what you think of this Hartwell floor plan down in the comments below. Could you see yourself living here or would you prefer one level living? Either way, do me a favor and hit that like button down below and subscribe if you've not done so already. And if you're ready to find your home here at the beach, I would love to be the one to help you do so. You can always use the first link down in the description to schedule a call with me. I'm looking forward to speaking with you. I wanna thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.